The final topic we're going to talk about when troubleshooting the Energy Smart Scale Mate will be what to do if your hot plate isn't working. So the first step is to make sure the unit's turned off, and then you're going to want to remove the nonstick cover. Once you've got that removed, you can check the plate to see if there is any visible damage, if there's any cut marks, dents, holes, if there's water that you can see coming out from the bottom of the plate. Those are all things that will probably make the, the plate no longer function, so you'll need to replace it at that point. Derek's going to walk us through what to do if there isn't any visible damage. So if your hot plate isn't uh, functioning and you don't see any physical damage to the plate, what you're going to want to check is, uh, number one, you'll want to check the circuit breaker to make sure the circuit breaker, the 25 amp cir circuit breaker, is not tripped. Um, at that point in time, a uh, simple test that you can do, uh, make sure the light's on. If the light's not on, then you'll, have, you'll probably have an issue with the, the GFCI. So you'll have to check that. But if the light's on and you wave your hand in front of the photo eye and this light does not come on, at that point in time, there's an issue inside. You're going to have to take the cover off and then uh, we'll delve a little deeper into that coming up. So once you have the electrical compartment open, you're going to want to take a look at the back of this photo eye. With the power on, you should have a solid green light at all times. And then when you put your hand in front of the photo eye, you're going to see a yellow light pop up there as well. If you're, if you're not getting any lights at all on the back of this photo eye, we're going to need to move down to the circuit board and check voltage here. So once that you've noticed that your photo eye is not getting any, any power and the lights are not coming on, what we we'll want to do is with the power, disconnect, power off, you'll want to disconnect the photo eye from the circuit board and then we'll move over here to the voltmeter. You're going to want to switch that to pick up DC voltage and uh, Using the wiring diagram, I know that pin four and pin five is gonna carry my 24 volts DC. I'll turn power back on and then read to check to see if I have the 24 volts. If I don't have 24 volts, then uh, the circuit board is gonna to need to be replaced. If you do have 24 volts with the photo eye disconnected, then the photo eye needs to be replaced.